Good evening. Time for some more wonderful speaking, wonderful words from the Lord and Savior. Our Lord and Savior. Uh, the book of John, chapter 16. Uh, no commentary. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues in fear. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering a worship to God. They will do this because they they will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when the hour of hour comes, you may remember what I told you. I did not tell you this in the beginning because I was with you. I am I was with you, but now I am going to the one who said to me, and not one of you asked me, where are you going? Because I have told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you, but I tell you the truth. It is better for you that I go. Or if I do not go, the advocate will not come for you, come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin because they did not believe in me. Righteousness because I am going to my father, and you will no longer see me. Condemnation because the rule of this world has been condemned. Coming of the advocate. Coming of the advocate, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He, he will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears. Uh, and he will, and, and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what, what is mine and I declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. A little, a little while and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while later and you will see me. Some of you, some of his disciples said to one another, uh, said to one another, what does this mean? What does this mean that he is saying to us? A little while and you will not see me. And again, a little while and you will see me because I am going to the Father? No. So they say, what is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what this means. Jesus knew what they wanted to ask him. So he said, so he said to them, are you discussing to... Are you discussing with one another what I said? A little while, and you will not see me, and a little while, you will see me? Amen, amen, I say to you. You will weep and mourn while the, war, while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So that so you are so you are also now in anguish that I now I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice rejoice that no one will take from your joy away from you they, no, no, no. and so now you are in anguish but I will see you again that your hearts will rejoice and your no, no, no I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice and no one will take that. Take that joy away from you. Now that day, now that day, you will not question me about anything. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen. I say to you, whatever you ask in the Father in my name, He will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures in, of speech. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day you ask my name you ask in my name that I did not tell you that I will ask the Father for you. On that day you ask in my name that I do not tell I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you. And the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and I have come to believe that I am that I came from God. For the Father himself loves you because you have loved me 
and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father, I came from the Father, that I have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back into going back to the Father. The disciple said, Now you are plain now you are talking plainly and do not need any figure of speech. Now you realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have more, any more questions. No. Now we, now we realize that you do not ha know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe me now? Behold, the hour is coming and arrived that... Now, behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered. To his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me in the world you have. I have told you this so that you may have peace in me in the world you have trouble. But take courage, I have conquered the world. Okay, well, um, thank you very much for your time. And uh, such uh, wonderful words, uh, Jesus saying his final farewells. But we will see him again very soon. Uh, don't know when. No one knows the hour of when he. No one knows the hour, but the Father, right? So just keep on being kind to each other and making each other's uh, helping yourselves and helping others enjoy uh, what little, what more or little time who knows, right? But the but until for now, until then. Yeah, help make life more bearable on this hurting planet. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, thank you for your time, and we'll see you on chapter chapter seventeen. See you there.